You might be wondering why I'm on vacation. I have a PVC pipe in our hotel room in Reno. And the reason why? To work on my overhead squats, of course. No other reason. I uh, went to Home Depot a few days ago to get some PVC pipes for overhead squats. Uh, so that way I can work on these rotations here. The only problem is that, you know, to fit this in my car and not ruin everything, you know, basically we have space. Um, it has to fit in the trunk like this. So I can't make it very long, not like a barbell. So I had to make it short. So what I did was, um, so I usually grip a lot wider when I'm trying to warm up, but I can hold these ends here with my fingers to get some warm ups in, to get these shoulders to rotate back. But I want to show you where I'm at right now with just a PVC pipe. You can see how far it moves forward when I do an overhead squat. I'm wearing some tennis shoes, uh, A6 with some on the elevation. So, and my hands are closer than usual. But one thing that does make a difference is if I create torque here first, then the bar a little bit, then bring it overhead and then try to squeeze harder. How stiff that gets. I'm actually going to look at my tape and take a look at it. I'm also going to show you another video right after this of me doing it with some dice. Just record, just record. Make sure you can see my legs. You're in the middle of everything. <laughs> with dice. I don't know, Kelly Starrett has this thing he calls the man test or the woman test where you hold two kettlebells above your head and you squat and it's much harder because you don't have a bar to create torque off, of, torque off of so you have to use dumbbells, in this case I had like little fluffy dice that we won over at Circus Circus I want to talk about programming so kind of what I'm working on and just kind of my thought process of how to get this overhead squat down and kind of how I brought myself this is the eighth day into this program or trying to conquer the overhead squat or at least do an overhead squat cold with the 45 pound bar is kind of working on, actually thoracic extension is one of my basic limiters, one of my main limiters, being able to get good thoracic extension. It's also one of the reasons why I can't get a good front squat most of the time, because of being able to keep a good, well also wrist, there's also wrist external rotation, but one of the main things that I did learn from this entire process, or what did I gain specifically from a, from a strength aspect, is being able to get better external rotation on the right side. This usually doesn't rotate as well as the left, so that way I can hold it up here pretty good and you know squat with a, the front squat really good. Second, piece, second part um, is I start because I've been working on this overhead position you know this is what I'm thinking I don't spend a whole lot of time here so I need to train this so behind the head overhead presses work really good uh, just holding a 40, 135 pounds above my head and just kind of locking in place say staying solid helps a lot um, and just keeping everything tight and braced, my core snug, everything is very solid. And just working in this area here, this zone, because I don't train here very often. So I figure, hey, why not make it stronger? And one of the things I've gotten to notice is that these triceps here, especially this long head, has got huge activation when I was doing some overhead presses in the hotel gym earlier this morning. Um, so what I've noticed is that this really activates a lot more. I noticed that I can hold my body more up, upright better. And Everything just feels uh, better with my upright position. I'm not because usually what happens when you don't have good thoracic extension is you're having to instead of being able to do this with the, with the shoulders, you end up having to kind of basically move more here. So when you can't move enough here in the upper back with thoracic spine, you have to move more in the lower back so that you can get that bar above your head or whatever you're doing in the overhead. Pressure. All right, so I wanted to show you my uh, travel mobility kit. I kind of just made this up. Uh, because I don't, I don't travel a whole lot, but I wanted to bring some stuff because I know that the Pepper Mill has a pretty decent gym for strength training. And as you can see, I have my post or my pre-workout drink here, some red wine. Anyways, what I have is I have a kind of a medium strength band, or it's actually considered a light band. Then I have a super light band, 
and then I have my uh, two lacrosse balls separate, and then I have my peanut. Then I also have softball and a trigger point block, or you can just use any yoga block so you can mobilize your chest. Or actually, I use it for my calves a lot. You know, I'm on my laptop. I'll put my foot on top of this thing, and I'll just kind of just go back and forth, attack and floss and whatnot. And I keep it in this little bag. Happens to be a little UFC gym bag, but that's what I use, and it's uh, quite handy. So as a bonus, I have a little video at the end here on how to make one of these. Uh, it's pretty simple, just some athletic tape. Actually, I learned that uh, electric tape works a lot better uh, because it's not as sticky. Because sometimes this will stick against your shirt or skin or whatever you're, if you're rolling. Um, and if you like the Gemini, I don't have the Gemini yet. I've been meaning to get one, but uh, even if I got the Gemini, I'd still have a, these lying around because they're handy. Okay.